Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is number 68 in my Creative Fold series, and I'm going to show you how to do this. I am calling it a flap card. It's a triangle um, opening to our card. So let's get started. I have already taken a piece of Lost Lagoon. This measures five and a quarter by four and I have scored it at the three quarter inch mark. I've also put a pencil mark, don't know if you can see it on the video, at two and five eighths and then one and a quarter up on each side. So I'm going to put that into my stamp and trimmer, line my dots up in the groove of my trimmer and just cut those off like so. All the details will be on my blog, stampingwithlinda.com. I'm going to bring in my big shot. I am going to be using my star framelit first and run that through the big shot. I just want to kind of line that up like so in that triangle. Going to run that through on the big shot. Always like to cut my framelits first and then do my dry embossing. It's going to bring that piece back in. And I'm going to bring in my decorative dots folder to emboss that front. I also have another piece of cardstock, very vanilla. This also measures the four and a quarter by five, so it's the same size as that flap that I trimmed off. And I'm just going to find those score lines again. I'm going to bring in my sticky strip because I really want to make sure this holds to the back of my card. So I'm going to trim that. I'm going to bring in my bone folder, run that back and forth to release that pink film from my sticky strip. Very humid today in Ohio, so of course it wants to stick tight. I'm going to line that up with the score line, my front of my card, like so. Gonna bring in my little stars. This is from that stamp set, Be the Star. And I'm just gonna use those stars down here in the corner of my card, like so. Have already ran ahead and stamped and used my framelit to cut out that star using that cut out is my guide to put that through like so. I'm going to bring in a small piece of dimensional. I have used the itty bitty accents in the Lost Lagoon and have already punched out a small star. That will go into the center of my big star. going to be using a rhinestone to give it a little bling because when you're a star you have lots of bling. So there we go. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my snail, run that all the way around my card. I'm going to put that on so that it hides the back onto a piece of 
the Lost Lagoon in four and a quarter by five and a half. Now, in order to secure that flap down, I'm going to take two dimensionals. I've already used the Brilliant. Again, this is from the stamp set, Be the Star. I have punched that out with a large oval. Then I took the Modern Label and used the Lost Lagoon just for a nice um, background to that punch. And I just want to make sure that I put it far enough up there so that that has something to hold on to. So there you have it, a creative um, fold. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.